Let's muckto in. I hope you're doing well. I'm staying dry. And shup. Jere. Kani. Ki. Muckto. Jumbi. Muckto. Shishek. Makto baro. Shop. Today. Good. Deep. All right, everyone. Nice to see you. So we're going to warm up our legs a little bit at the very beginning. So what's going to happen is you're going to start with your feet together like so. Okay. You're going to do three steps. So I'm going to step across with my right leg first. One. Then my left leg. Two. Then I step again with my right leg. Three. Then I step with my left leg. Left. Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Once you get comfortable with this, you go a little bit faster. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do this right now. Good. Good job. We're going to go a little bit faster in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, go faster. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Keep going. Try and go fast. You should be an amazing tap dancer right now. Good. We're going to try and go even faster in 10 seconds. All right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Double time. One two three, 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 one two three. Keep going, keep going, keep it up. Fast. You should be breathing hard. Ten seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Good job, guys. All right. So now, from here, our legs are a little bit more warmed up. We're going to do slow motion point kick. So quick reminder, right leg back, yeah. from our stance, back leg point kick, boom. Normal ones, we're just going to do about five on each side of warm up. So get ready, that was kind of two, set, nice and easy. Net, keep those hands up, toss it, one more, toss it. Good job, switch sides, get ready. Normal point kick and hana. Good. Go. Good job. Set. Really get those hands up. Net. Toss it. Try and keep your back straight. Try not to lean forward. Yos it. Last one. Good. Hope that was easy. Now we're going to make it harder. We're going to do that point kick. We're going to go slow motion. If you need to, you can put your hand on a wall or a chair. Or we're going to go five seconds out, hold for five, bring it back for five. Make sure it's the best form you can do. So with your hands are up, okay, I'm going to go kick this way so you guys can see. So we're going to start, boom, front, front crane, turn it. So now you're dog peeing in a fire hydrant, okay? Now, five seconds out. So hold your balance, get ready, and go. One steamboat, two steamboat, three steamboat, four steamboat, Five steamboat, hold it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back. One steamboat, two steamboat, three steamboat, four steamboat, five steamboat. Good. Switch sides. Awesome. Get ready. Stay or a different leg, other side. And wait as dog peeing a fire hydrant. Try and get your balance. I find if I look at something that isn't moving, like a maybe a like a like a like a sign or something. If it's not moving, I'm looking only at that. I keep my balance more. So get ready and kick. One steamboat, two steamboat, three steamboat, four steamboat, five steamboat. Hold it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Good job, guys. Shake out those hips. We're going to go in a little bit of a horse stance just to really open them up. So get ready. Actually, let's do it together. Let's do it officially from here. 
he might just say, Chumbi, clap hands, arms crossed, step out, ah! arms coming to the side. Good. Bend those knees, push them over your feet, keep your back straight. So don't stick your butt out like this. Try and have your butt nice and underneath your shoulders. Push those knees outward. Hold it. We're going to hold it for about 15 seconds. If you want, try and later on your own time, try and hold for even longer. Hands are out. Don't put them here. Hold them up. Your legs, if they're not sore, you're not doing it right. So keep it up. Gary, right, good job, guys. Good. 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Go down a little bit lower if you can. Really work on your knee flexibility, work on your hips. Good. Three, two, one. Good job. Stand up, shake it out. Good job, good job. All right, why don't us do a little bit of our push ups right now? So, from here, we're going to go, if you can, do a front break ball. Awesome. If you can't, you can go down on the ground. So, front break ball, two feet. Good. From here, push up position. Now, remember, if you do not feel comfortable doing a normal push up, you can put your knees on the ground like this. Just make sure your butt isn't sticking out. Tuck your butt in like this so you have a straight line from the shoulder going diagonally down to your knees. This is not a straight line. This most certainly is. From here, hands under, not underneath your shoulders, hands a little bit further towards your hips. And also what happens, you're gonna lower and come back up. If you do it without your knees, hey, we're good. All right, carry to the count. And Hana. Two, set. Bend, toss it, keep it going. Yasin, elbow, yaro, uh -huh. and yo. Go and hold it up. From here, you're going to go onto your knees now. And all you're going to do now is keep your arms straight. You're going to then bring your back up as high as you can. Really arch your back. So push it up, arch it. Good. Hold that, feel it. Now you're going to drop it down. Good. So you want to look kind of like a camel. So you want this shoulder sticking up and your butt sticking up. Everything between slouching down. Go up, look up. Back to cat. Down to camel. Up to cat. Back to camel. We're going to do two more. Up to cat. Back down to camel. One more. Up to cat. And down the camel. Good job. From here, all I want you guys to do now is you're going to go onto your hands and feet like this, and you're going to be running, bringing your knees in. This is called a mountain climber. Show me that. We're going to be doing this for 30 seconds. Stay nice and warm. Keep it up. Bring those knees as close to your face as you can. Good job. 15 seconds left, guys. Keep it up. Doing great, guys. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Feel those shoulders, hopefully. So now, what I want us to do, the last thing is we're going to do something called a kickback, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back on our hands and feet. But now, actually, it's kind of like an inchworm. So I'm going to start hands in the air like you just don't care. Hands on the ground like you're in the lost and found. Bring your hands to the ground like this. Now, you're gonna walk out like you're doing a tiny little, like with your hands, tiny little steps. Boom, 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 boom. You're gonna go in a push up position. From here, you're gonna go down. Now you're gonna lift and arch your back like this. Now, the hard part, you have to try and jump and bring your feet to your hands. So, watch, jump, and try to touch your toes. Come back up, face the other way. Hands up, touch your toes, walk, 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 walk out. From here, push up down, arch your back, jumping. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Good job. Stand back up, arms up. We're going to do two more. Get ready. Walk, 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 walk out. Good. Chest to ground, arch your back, jumping. Three, two, one, go. Good job. Back up. Last one. Carry arms up. Touch your toes. Walk, 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 walk. Come down. Arch your back. Jump. Three, two, one. Jump. Good job. Shake it out, guys. Awesome. Shake out those wrists. Fantastic. All right. So now we're going to go a little bit into some striking. 
I want to cover something called a hammer fist, okay? So some of you might know what it is. Quick thing, so we're in our stand. If I punch with my fist, knuckles, I'm hitting something like the head, head has a cranium. The cranium, the per, especially the frontal, this part here is super strong. If I get punched there, there's a chance that a person's fist can actually break. So if you're punching somebody, you don't want to punch them necessarily with your knuckles to their head. This is where our hammer fist comes in. I'm going to be hitting with the bottom part where all the flesh is. So my hands are up. There's four hammer fists I want you to try. So start and do it with me. So in your stance, we're going to go with our backhand side. You ready? Angle one, boom, straight down. I want you to turn your hips. Pop, straight in. Good. Cross your arms out. This is called a high guard technique. So from here, you're going to push with your foot as if you're throwing a hook punch. But what you're going to do is you're going to hit Boom, sideways with your hammer fist. So your hammer fist number two, turn. See how my hips turn into it? That's what I want you guys to try and do. From here, pull your hand back. Get ready? From here now, it's like you're pulling a bow. You're gonna release the arrow, which is your hammer fist. You shoot it out, pop, and hit. That's hammer fist number three, okay? From here, bring your hand to your shoulder. You're not gonna drop down. You're gonna hit somebody in the groin. So elbow pointed forward. It's like you're doing a chicken wing, and from here, Hammer fist number four. All right, so those are the only four hammer fists. So one more time from the top. We have hammer fist number one, boom, straight down. Hammer fist number two, boom, straight across. Hammer fist number three, pop, straight across the other way. And then hammer fist number four, pop, in the groin. Switch sides, get ready, and one, pop. Cross, two, pop. Pull back, three, pop. Good, and four, boom. One more time per side, hands are up. And I want you guys to really think, you're smashing, okay? I don't want you to just go, think. I want you to think like there's a, there's a board right here and you're just, push. you're trying to break that board with your fist, okay? So get ready, hammer fist number one, break that board, pop, good, cross. Big board break on this one. Gary, hammer fist number two, boom, hit. Pull back, hammer fist number three, pop. Straight across. Hammer fist number four. Boom! Hit the groin. Good. Other side. Last one. Get ready. Hammer fist one. Boom! Cross. Hammer fist two. Pop! Pull back. Hammer fist three. Pop! Drop. Hammer fist four. Boom! Right in the groin. Awesome job, guys. Woo! All right. So now we're going to do one last striking drill. That is our boxing drill set one. Quick review. So in your stance, quick review first. Jab. Okay, jab, punch, now fire across, boom, turn into it. Duck and weave, cross, boom, hook, drop, and then uppercut, okay? So now, boxing one, but this time, we're gonna replace our hook and our uppercut with elbows. So we're gonna go straight across with, instead of, uh, with our elbow four, and then straight up with our elbow number one, okay? So Gary, hands are up, good, jab. Cross, duck and weave. Cross, get ready, elbow four, boom, straight across. Drop, elbow one, boom, straight up. Again, jab, cross, duck and weave. Cross, elbow four, elbow one. Good job, one more time. We're gonna go a little bit faster, okay, get ready? Jab, cross, duck and weave. Cross, elbow four, elbow one. I totally lied, one more time with power and speed. Get ready, you guys got this. Jab, cross, duck and weave. Cross, elbow four, elbow one. Good job, shake it out, shake it out. Fantastic, guys. So now, what I wanna go into, we're gonna go a little bit into kicks. What I want you guys working on now is how to do a spin for a kick, okay? So I don't know if we, some of you might not do it, some of you might not. So, from here, we're gonna go right leg back. I'm gonna face diagonally. So right leg back. Now, the goal is whatever leg is in the back, I'm going to turn in that direction. So my right leg's back, I'm going to turn to the right. What's going to happen is if you watch my foot here, my foot is also going to turn sideways. So watch. You see, my toes are pointing now to the right. Okay, from here, I'm looking past over my shoulder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push off with this leg. As I do, I'm going to lift my knee up and I'm going to keep turning this way. So watch. Push, knee comes up, and then come back to my position. So it's turn to the right, 
my foot turns right, called open X step. I look over my right shoulder. My right foot pushes off the ground as it does, and he comes up, and then continue your rotation. Okay, I'll do it towards the camera. So it's turned. As you can see, my foot is pointed that way on my back leg. I'm going to push off of that leg as I'm looking over. Okay, when you do it fast, all the way over. Okay, so let's try some. If you have hardwood floor or carpet, it might be a good idea to wear socks on this. Well, let's try this out. Okay, ready? Right? We're going to do about five per side. Okay, so hands are up and hana. Boom. Boom. Good. Try and get that turn. Set, turn, lift. Net, turn, lift. One more time. Toss it. Turn, lift. Good job. If you're not too dizzy, we're going to try the other side. Okay? Awesome. So, Gary, right? Right the back. Jump in. Good. So now we're going to turn our foot now to the left. We're going to turn our body to the left. So it's turned. My left foot turns to the left. The toes point towards the left. I'm looking over my shoulder, push off of my knee, and bring it back. Okay, so Gary? And hana. One. And back. Boom. Turn. Keep turning. Set. Turn. Keep it up. Net. Turn. And up. Last one. Uh, toss it. Actually, I totally lied. One more. Listen. Turn and up. Good job. All right. Best idea is trying to work on that turn a little bit. Trying to feel really balanced. If you do it, it's all about focusing on your head. So when I turn, my head is also looking before my body points. So my body's pointed that way. My head is looking that way. So as I do, boom, I continue up. Great way to work on your spin. Next up, we're going to do something called an opposite point kick. So right back. Hey! All right, so now hands are up. Your back leg is going to cross over your front knee. So watch. Boom, like this. You want to pretend you're in a flamingo, or maybe you look like a flamingo or something like that. All right? You are, this is called a cross crane. Or this is a version of a cross crane. So now from here, just hold that position. Get your balance. See how well you can hold it. Try and go a little bit lower if you can. Really drop that butt to the ground. If you can, work on your yoga, align your chakras or whatever, all right? Now, from here, we're gonna extend our leg out. So watch, get out, back, and down. So it's cross crane, hold that position. My leg is gonna extend, kick out to the side, bring it back, and down. So do it together, get ready, and hana, and back. Boom! And back, set, and back, net, and one more, toss. Good, pump on two sides. We're gonna add this to our spin afterwards, guys. So it's gonna be really, it's an advanced kick. So get ready. Now my left leg is crossing over my right knee. Boom, okay? I'm gonna extend my leg over, back, and down. Let's try this up. Get ready, and hut out. Good. Boom. Set. Good. Net. One more, and toss it. All right, hopefully that was kind of easy, but or maybe not, that's okay. You can want to keep working on it, you're more than welcome to. So now, what's gonna happen, everybody, is I'm gonna combine that spin that we did with that kick. This is an advanced move, okay? It's called a spinning opposite point kick. So from here, I'm gonna go sideways, you guys see this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn my back leg. As you can see, my foot turns sideways, remember that. I look over my shoulder. Now, as I bring my knee up, I'm gonna go in my cross crane position. As I turn, I extend and bring it back. So do it towards the camera. Boom, cross crane, kick and back. When you combine the whole thing, you got yourself a spinning opposite point kick, okay? Really fun to do if you have carpet and socks, all right? So get ready to the count. Do it as best you can. We're gonna break it up. Get ready and hana, turn, look, cross crane, kick, and back. Good. Boom. Turn, look, cross crane, kick, and back. Set, turn, cross crane, kick, and back. Good. Net, turn, cross crane, turn, 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 turn. Opposite point, and back. Good. Last one, and Yosef. Boom. All right. 
Now, if you want to finish it off, try it fast if you feel comfortable. So it's all about that head spin. So as I spin, boom, I get, I try, sorry, I lied there. I want you to really try and get that turn and get that offset point kick without pausing. So it's spin, boom, kick, and back. Something to work on your own time. Guys, awesome, that was pretty fun. So get ready, let's muck you out very quickly. And shut, turn it, cut, key, mato, jimmy, mato, shisha. Focus on your breathing. Stand up. And shot. Chin it. Come. Keep. Is everyone here? Namaste. Awesome job, everyone. Gather around. So today, guys, I want to talk to you about this symbol right here. Okay, right here. All right. It's called a yin yang. It's a really super, super, super old symbol, okay? It dates back to Asia uh, and all that stuff. Basically what it means, it's a sign of balance. So you have two opposites. You have the black field right there, and you have the white field right there. You obviously black and white in, you know, in terms of color spectrum, and you know, uh, they basically are two opposite things. But when they're put together, they make a complete circle. So the idea behind this, guys, is... Um, there are, like in our world, there's, I mean, generally, traditionally, there's a view that there's something called duality. So there are two, there are opposite things. Think of uh, hot and cold. Think of light and dark. Think of soft and hard, right? Think of all these things out there. You know, you can say good and evil, I guess, too. That counts, uh, although that's a little bit more compli complicated. But the idea is, the, even though these two forces or these things that have two forces in them are completely opposite, they're not really going to exist if, uh, if the other one isn't there, right? I mean, really, is there going to be any light if there is nothing but darkness? You know, if there's, or sorry, if there's no darkness, can you actually say there's light? Maybe. I mean, and at the same time, no matter how bright the day gets, there's always going to be shadows, right? Darkness always exists within light. Light exists within darkness. You're going to, well, most of the time, you know, I mean, at night, even though it's pitch black, are there still no, are there still stars out? Are there street lights out? Are there all these things out there? Yeah. In, in all of this stuff. So I want you to think that in the end, I mean, you know, things are a little bit more complicated than just two forces, I think nowadays, but I want you to be aware of this traditional thing where, you know, you might have a bad day. That's okay. All right, because, you know, if we think about it, there's a bad day and a good day. If you do not have any bad days, won't your good days just be kind of boring after a while? So you need kind of like these opposites in order to actually have a well-rounded life, right? Um, anyways, guys, read more about the yin-yang if you want. It's a really cool symbol. There's a lot of stuff and meaning behind it. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to send you back to instructor Eric. Take care. Thanks for training, guys. Namaste. Back to you, big guy.